Hey guys, this is Jay Calderon with Jay Unboxing here giving you my personal prediction for the super middleweight bout between former titleist David Benavidez and Ronald Ellis. And before we get started, remember this is just my take. Your take can be left down in the comments. I'd love to hear them. So we have a set Benavides versus Ellis. This will be taking place on Saturday, airing on Showtime at the Mohegan Sun Arena in Montville, Connecticut. No title on the line as Benavides was stripped last year after failing a drug test for cocaine, but he is back in against a solid foe, one that many would probably suggest he should beat, but it's the sort of banana peel that could really upset the apple cart if Benavides is not focused and really honed in on trying to make sure that he looks good in his return bout. Without any more ado, let's get into the specifics here. For Benavides to win, he needs to throw those punches in bunches. Activity is always key for David's fights, and this is no different. Don't give Ellis a chance to set up shop or think his way out of trouble. You have to really pressure him and make him have to try and fight, and hopefully the power that Benavidez brings to the fight as well as these straighter shots will lead him to success down the line. He also has to force his man backwards. Ellis will naturally want to move and counter considering Benavidez is the more aggressive fighter. However, he needs to cut off the ring well and make Ellis back up in more of a straight line. If he's letting him have those angles and those, those escape routes, that's not really backing him up. You're actually just chasing. What you need to do is you need to pursue him, and you need to do that by cutting off the ring, taking away those angles, making him step back in a straight, direct line more consistently so that you're effectively just able to catch him on the end of those shots until you get him in the corner against the ropes, and then you can make him pay. And finally, he needs to counter over the top with range. They're about the same in terms of their dimensions with both of them having about a 77 inch reach. However, Benavidez can benefit from having straighter, faster shots that ultimately allow him to close the distance a little bit better because he's able to, again, back Ellis up. Now for Ellis to win, he needs to use the jab to offset the work rate. Ellis will likely look to move backwards, as mentioned, and set up some form of a counter-attacking game, but this means he needs to use that jab and jab with conviction to make Benavides get thrown off on his timing and have to reset. That also makes him second-guess coming straight in to begin with. It also opens up those angles we were talking about earlier, because again, if you're able to jab and force Benavides to keep his hands at bay, that allows for you to take that step to the left or to the right and get out of harm's way. He'll also need to look to land the left hook. Benavidez can be susceptible to that left hook, so look to turn some of those jabs into hooks as Benavidez tries to step in. He just has to keep those hooks tight and not get too many of those shots in return from Benavidez when he's throwing it. So again, use it a little more sparingly in the beginning and let it out of the bag, I should say, a little bit more as the fight goes on when you've kind of worked yourself into a rhythm. And finally, again, we've mentioned this several times now, and it's most important for Ellis, he needs to give his man some angles. He needs to back up, not in straight lines. He needs to use those angles, step to the right, step to the left. It's a good idea to push Vinavides back sometimes, uh, just to kind of get his respect and make sure, you know, he knows he's not a pushover. But equally, Ellis would serve himself well to make sure he's taking steps to the left, to the right, as he backs away and looks to walk Benavides into counter shots. Ultimately, I think the work rate and pressure from Benavidez will be enough to carry him to a late stoppage, which is what I'm going to have to go with for my decision here. Uh, the left hook will always have a home for Ellis if he throws it, but the flow of combinations and the, I said, the, the use of his reach from Benavidez will ultimately carry him to a late stoppage victory. Benavidez via late stoppage. The betting odds are fairly wide in Benavidez's favor, with some books having him as high as a minus 1800 for the win. Ellis comes in at around a plus 800 to 1000. And if you can convince yourself that Benavidez has been inactive too long and it's just not the fighter he was or we thought he would be and that Ellis might catch him off a little bit, then the 800 odds could attract you for a small bet that you're comfortable with losing. Uh, otherwise, though, there's not much action here for me. In any event, my prediction record for the year thus far is 4-2-1 and one with one exact. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. would love to hear your thoughts, your predictions, your bets, so on and so forth. Please be sure to comment, share, subscribe, and follow at jcalderon underscore j-o-b. And you can email me at jonboxing at gmail.com as well. would love to hear from you there. Also, be sure to visit jonboxing.com for schedule, betting odds, results, rankings, all that good stuff. And until next time.